What's wrong with you? What? I, I what? don't understand what's wrong with you, Bill. Did you not learn anything from the nightmare that I just went through with these people? Please, Bill, listen to me. Please, stay away from this girl. Yeah, that's what her mother said, too. You know, you two may have more in common than you think. Stop. Come on, listen. Now, look, you might think that you can have a normal relationship with her. But I'm telling you that no matter how hard you try or what you do, Carmen is always going to be there to screw things up. Bill, this woman is evil, all right? She's, she's just, she's evil. Whatever chance you think you have, it will blow up in your face. It will. Like it did with you. I was talking about you, Listen, Michelle, we've, we've been friends forever, right? So I think I know a little bit about you. I think I know what's going on. I'm not involved with Pilar. As far as I know, she's just a cute girl that's moving in next door with about 100 miles of bad road for her mother. <laughs> but maybe I'll get involved with her. Maybe I won't. I don't know. But you're married to Danny. And you can talk about about being over him and going back to school and, and whatever else you want to talk about, but you're still married to him. And I think you want to be. Look, why don't you just uh, think about that while I go get that, that book for you. You're still leaving even though you love her. I don't love Michelle. It's me, Danny. Me. Forget for a minute who we are and pretend we're a normal family, okay? Uh, okay. Come on. I'm your sister and I love you. That's normal, isn't it? So what? So? Trust me. I'm probably the only person in the whole world you can trust. You brought me here to help you go through something you couldn't go through by yourself. This wasn't part of Mama's big plan for your future, but it happened. And there's no going back, Danny. All right, so what do you think I should be doing, huh? Stop pretending you can't have things the way you want. Your dream of a perfect life has Michelle in it, and you know it. You love her, Danny. I know you do. Oh, how, how can I love someone I, I, I don't even know? I hardly know her. So then tell me something you do know about her. I don't know, I don't know. Look, well, she's studying to be a doctor. You know, she has sort of dream. Uh, oh, she sounds a lot... To help people. No, I don't think so. But Andrew's a disaster, okay? We were constantly fighting. We made each other crazy. She made me crazy. She was completely unpredictable. Totally defiant and bossy and rude. One minute and then... Vulnerable and caring the next. And now, out of the blue, she thinks that we can have some sort of normal life together. Like I can just walk away from the family. And it's just some crazy romantic notion of hers. It would never work, I told her that. You don't believe that, Danny. Not in your heart. If you want a life with Michelle, you can have it if you want it badly enough. You know, you're sound like Cousin Ray. Well, he's right. No, you're both naive. Naive romantics. Look, it was never meant to be. It was a nightmare the, from the beginning for both of us. Since when did you become such a pessimist? I'm not. I am, I'm a realist. Thank you. If you love Michelle, if you really love her, you'll find a way. Forget about me. Will you just forget about me? I want you to be happy. If you're happy, then I'll be happy. Yeah, but how can I be happy? when you're in so much pain. I am not in pain. Mom, I can't believe you're just going to leave Michelle without telling her how you feel about her. Uh, there's, not, there's nothing to tell. She's busy. She's living her life, and I can't... I can't go there. I came by to see if maybe you might need a hand, but it uh, looks like your brother sort of got you covered. Yeah. Bill, um, look about what happened the other day. Yeah, uh, listen, the guy came back and he said that it wasn't going to happen again, so I guess I should be thanking you. No, don't worry about it. I don't think anyone's going to be bothering you guys from now on. Hey, I want you to 
Keep an eye on her while I'm away, okay? She thinks she knows everything. Yeah, sure, I would love to. Where are you going to go? And thanks for looking out for her the other day. I think, I think it'll be good for her to have a friend like you around. You're so embarrassing. It's part of my job description. So you'll uh, keep an eye on her, okay? I will. Ugh, I'm, I'm a mess. I'm going to go wash up. <clears throat> God, I'm going to miss him so much when he's gone. I hate that he's leaving. And I know he hates it, too. Well, to be honest, I think it might be kind of a good idea for Danny to be gone for a while. I know Michelle needs some time to get over him and get on with her life. Wait, what are you saying? Michelle still has feelings for my brother? Are you kidding? Look, Michelle may pretend that she's over your brother, but she's not. Not even close. In fact, I think that the only way she's going to get him out of her system is if he goes away for a while and stays a while. Yeah, and uh, speaking of going away, I've got to go study for a test as soon as I give Michelle this book for uh, chemistry. Well, actually, I have to go downstairs to get something um, cold for Danny to drink. So I can give this to Michelle at company. Okay. okay. Yeah. So you Thanks. go study, and um, don't worry, I'll see you later. And um, good luck okay. on your test. You are. Hi. Hi. Uh, I hear you're moving in next door. Yeah. The thing is, I got these shelves that I couldn't put together myself, so Bill's doing it for me. Oh. Oh, so that, that's where he is. Thank you for telling me, Bill. Well, I have to go get him something, but um, Bill wanted you to go upstairs and keep him some company until he's finished. Oh. And then he'll give you that book. Oh, okay, great. Thank you need it. Thanks. Should be sitting here alone. See you. Why don't you just tell me where the book is and I'll get it myself. I'm sorry. I'm not interrupting anything. I'm just uh, helping. Did my sister tell you to come up here? Yeah, she said Bill was going to be working on the bookcase. Right, sister. She, um... Look, she's a bit of a romantic. She has this... This, um, crazy idea that we belong together. There's nothing wrong with being a little romantic. Well, no, no. Of course not. I mean, it's just got to be... As long as, there's something to, as long as there's something to be romantic about. Right. Anyway, um, you don't have to worry about Pilar playing matchmaker anymore. Oh, well, don't, don't get upset with her. I mean, it was not a big deal. You know? No, I'm not. I'm not upset with her. I just meant... I just meant you won't have to worry about running into me anymore. What do you mean? I'm leaving town tonight. 